What's up, everybody? It's the Brownwater Banter Podcast. I am Jared Seymour, and I am here with returning guest, as she promised, Tina Ross Siemens with the Biloxi Bay Area Chamber of Commerce, and we've got some events to talk to you about today. Tina, how are you doing? I'm wonderful. Happy Merry New Year. Happy Merry New Year. That's right. You got a stack of papers here. I do. That we need to go over and start talking about, man. Well, we're not going to take any time to get busy this year right um this past saturday was our first official ribbon cutting at fire station number seven okay. over in north biloxi honored to be there uh so that was the first one then we've got a bacon x coming up this thursday night at beauvoir okay and it's going to be a wonderful after hours event it'll start at 5 30 and that is on the 16th of january um, they're going to do some behind the scenes museum tours uh refreshments um door prizes lots of fun so many people I hear, oh, I haven't been to Beauvoir since I was in third grade on a mm -hmm. field trip. It's time to go back. That is a beautiful, iconic, historic landmark right here in Biloxi, and we really need to show our support for Beauvoir. They host uh, wedding receptions and stuff, I believe, there. They have, like, a big facility they now do. outside of just the original house. Is that right? They do. The lot between the library and the mansion and the grounds, mm -hmm. there are so many possibilities for any kind of event. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, check it out and come out and network with us this Thursday. So that's that that right Bay Connects. Up. That's a reoccurring kind of series or something that y'all do. Is that it's, right? It's up to um, host businesses members okay. who want to host an after hours. You provide the food and the beverage, um, music, door prizes if you want to. It's just a chance for us to come out and see your mm -hmm. business, whether it's a museum, an okay. attraction, or any kind of business you can do it with your your neighbor business if you want to do a, a combo bay connects it's a personal invite to come in and check out i like you it. have to offer i like so it it's free for members and non-members are also invited to come out so all of these events <clears throat> you can find on our facebook page biloxi bay area chamber uh, facebook page on our website okay biloxi bay area chamber dot org um, call our office. You'll get a what's happening if you're a member, and that's where this was printed out. So I'll try to make them kind of bright and eye catchy so people yeah. will pay attention. And I'll uh, I'll link them in the <clears throat> comments below. So wherever you're watching this or listening to this, just uh, look in the comment section below. I'll have a link to the chamber's uh, website. Right. Um, Sparklight, as most of you know, used to be Cable One. They've rebranded. They've also remodeled their downtown office location right here on MLK. So we're going to do a ribbon cutting for them on the 22nd of January. It's at 11 a.m. And um, they're going to have a live radio remote and door prizes and do it upright for the big launch. The relaunch. The relaunch. The relaunch. Of, the rebranding. The rebranding yeah. of Sparklight. So that should be a lot of fun. Um, also another opportunity for networking. Yes. For free. Membership. I spoke with a uh, cable one guy at one of the, one of the events. Um, I think it was the Beau Rivage event or something. We had a good mm -hmm. conversation t talking about all the stuff that they had going on. Mm -hmm. So it's good to put a face to a name when it's a business that you deal with all the time, exactly. even if you don't know the people, you know, personally. But we do so much online. Yeah. yeah. You pay your bill online. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you got a problem, you yeah. go online. They're the conduit that controls uh, everybody's e life. Exactly. You sit down and think about it. Exactly. So. so this is a great chance to shake some hands and get to meet some people that we don't see normally on mm -hmm face-to-face -face basis and then on the 30th of january is our 30th annual state of the city address luncheon uh where the honorable andrew fofo gillich will give us updates on what's happened in the city what has been happening this past year and what's going to come up so this will okay. be a wonderful opportunity to learn about the city of biloxi happenings um like I said, it's on the 30th. So get your tickets now. Okay. These have been selling really fast. I watched it. I watched it last year. Mm -hmm. I was I didn't wasn't able to attend and it was really cool. Um people that are, you're listening, I mean, if if he the last year I remember he addressed the road situation. Yes. I think he did a really good job of explaining how he walked into that, what he's done to try to handle it and where they were moving forward. I felt like he owned as much as he could of that situation. Right. Yep. So if you're somebody that's always uh, making comments on what the city's doing, why not go and check it out and hear it firsthand? Um Right. You know, so see what's going on and what's planned for 2020, you know, it, be a part of it. Exactly. And if you can't make the luncheon, it will air on cable one the next day, okay. pretty much on the hour okay. uh, every, for the 24 hours afterwards. So there's always an opportunity to hear what the mayor has to tell us. Stay informed. But it's your city. It is. It is. And we have to be proactive. Right. Uh, don't vote. That's right. <laughs> don't participate. Don't talk. Don't, don't complain. <laughs> don't want to hear it. Don't complain. And then it's all going to go to the dogs. Okay. All right. After, very, yeah, very nice segue yeah, there. Yeah, I thought so. I thought so. The original crew of Bark Loxie, 
Uh, this is our fourth annual. It's the Parade. The pa- that's P-A-W. 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 Parade. It's a very colorful flyer you'll see not uh-huh. only on the Chamber Facebook page, but on the Humane Society of South Mississippi. Um, their take on this is the king and queen of Barclucksy are chosen <laughs> okay. by the I'm- most money raised by the human okay. for the king and queen. Right now, we have three queen nominations, and these humans are really going after oh, yeah. the donations. People take their dogs seriously. Oh, yes, they do. Yeah. So it's all going to a good cause for the Humane Society and for all their uh, efforts and everything that they do for, for our pets. How are, they ra- pets. how are they raising the money? Is it is it like you vote by a dollar or something like that? You, do you, can, know? you can donate through their Facebook page okay. for their uh, contestant. Like who you think should win, you, you vote for that? If you know them, you might want to donate. You know, anyway, in okay. There, in there, right. on their so it's some loose rules there, it sounds to me. You right. can have a bake sale. You can have a okay. car, it's However that human wants to raise the money. Gotcha. You raise those money. That's going to get out of hand quick. <laughs> you raise the <laughs> That's money. That's going to get out of hand. And your pup might be king or queen. Yeah. Um, and we do have other opportunities to be a sponsor or a vendor. Uh, top Dog is the the top uh sponsor level and that's only 250 okay it's not very much um you get vendor space you get mentions you get your logos and all of that on there underdogs 150 um you get the space Mm -hmm. the vendor space to promote your product or your service um and then you get your name mentioned not so much your logo but your name and if you just want to get a booth and sell your product or promote your service uh, the mutt is only fifty dollars, <laughs> so we keep it very affordable. Affordable mm-hmm. because we want our business community and our nonprofit organizations to uh, be involved. Right. If, if your if your clientele is the dogs, then mm-hmm. that's this is where you want to be. You want to help promote uh, to the dog owners, the humans, and, and the dogs will appreciate it. Um, but this is presented by four different groups, of course, <laughs> the Biloxi the, Bay Chamber. <laughs> the puns keep coming. Like I know, know, the Biloxi Bay Area Chamber, Biloxi Main Street, the Dog House, and of course, Humane Society of South Mississippi. Right. So we're going to have a dog on good time and we're going to paw de gras. So it's uh, a great opportunity to really come out with some fun puns uh, and Last year, I looked up, and there were about 1,200 people at Town Green. Wow, for that event. For this event. Okay. It is a big draw. People love their animals. They want to show them off. They want to dress them up, and it's just a whole lot of fun. Um, the parade route is is kind of short because we're dealing with right. <laughs> a mixed group of people here. Not uh, the normal animals that are out in parades. No, yeah, These are exactly. actual animals. These are real, real, real live yeah. animals. Uh, we'll leave from Town Green. And we'll parade up to City Hall, and then we'll loop back around and end back at Town Green. Okay. So okay. we don't want to do it too far. We don't want to have to worry about, you know, dogs getting too tired and right. trying to corral everybody. But If there's yeah, one thing like, we love down here, that's animals and any excuse to have a parade. So it, it sounds like it should be a fun time. It's all wrapped into one. It's one big party gras <laughs> right. uh, with a parade. So that's our fourth annual. So it's getting bigger every year. Okay. So come down there. Bring your lawn chairs. Support a good cause. Sit under the, the beautiful oak trees out there. Uh, we'll be down there with the Biloxi Dog Crew selling hot dogs for the chamber. Um, so just come down and have, have fun with us. And that's on the 16th of February, if you didn't get that date. It's okay. Sunday. And we'll start registration about noon. Uh, parade will roll right about 1.00. So that'll be a great afternoon. Hopefully the weather will be good. It's always been wonderful the last three years, so we're hoping for more of the same. Um, We do have a membership special going on right now for the Chamber. Our fiscal year starts July 1. So once we get into late November, December, January time frame, it's pretty much half the year. Mm -hmm. So instead of charging the full annual dues, we cut them in half. So if you're a new business just getting started or if you've been in business for a long time and you haven't experienced the benefits of membership with our chamber, now is a great time to do it at an affordable price. You won't be charged again until July 1, okay. but it gives you six months to um, kind of get a feel for the chamber, get to know people, and realize that you can't operate without being a member because right. there's so many benefits to you. Saving money with the Office Depot card, mm-hmm. um, offering uh, chamber deals through the key tag program. And we've got a growing list of, of members who are signing up for that. Mm-hmm. And whenever I go in any of these member um, businesses, I always show my key tag. It's like, what's your chamber deal today? And they'll tell me, you know, 10%, 15, whatever. Right. And I'm like, hey, I'm saving money. Right. It's all, it all works. 
So, yeah, don't forget about the membership special. Um, that'll run through about the mid-February time frame, right about the 14th. Okay. Right time for Valentine's Day. So, yeah. all and, this is on our website. Right. All this right. is on you our website. You can see it up close and personal. Exactly. And we talked the last time you were in here about the benefits of being in the chamber. Like you mentioned, I mean, if you're, at, if you're running a business um, or you're someone who's looking to network and maybe not running a business, you know, it's a great way to meet people and to have a good time. It is. More it's importantly, a, it's a, a great, time. it's a, <laughs> we are the fun chamber. That's right. And we're not scared to tell anybody that's that we right. are the fun chamber. You, you recently had the um, the Christmas party. We did. I was at that. That was a great time. That it, was over at the uh, Biloxi Visitor Center. It was. So yeah. it's she's not lying when she says that they have they have a good time. It was a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. uh, we were contestants yeah. in the one armed. Yeah. I wasn't going to bring that up because you. Beat well, me. you know, I know, but I had to just kind of <laughs> yeah. mention it because it was all in fun. It was all in fun. I'm still a little sore about it, but no, no I'm That's just kidding. Okay. No, it was a good time. It was a uh, present wrapping competition, but you had one arm tied behind your back. One, one right arm, one left arm, but two people. That's so, right. Yeah, you got to work in conjunction to, yeah. to get it. Get that My wife present. sandbagged me on that. One. I know. She, so. we'll, we'll have to have a rematch. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> maybe, this Christmas. Maybe Chris, maybe we'll do a Christmas in July party or something go. like that and have yeah. a rematch. Throw a parade in there. We'll be good. Hey, you know why not? Why not? Always looking for something different to different way to have some fun and the chamber is a start i mean it doesn't matter if it's a ribbon cutting or bay connects or, or any event that we do it's a great group of people they're all like-minded in the fact that they want their business to continue to grow they want to be a part of their community and you make some really good friends along the way yes yes i can attest to that um did we run through the t the the the, uh, the the pricing on there? Did you did you mention that? I you didn't. Go? It's it's half price. Yeah, yeah. So a business would normally be one hundred and fifty for okay. a full year. Right. It's only seventy five. Yeah. Uh, and it goes down from there. Nonprofits normally one hundred. It's fifty. Individuals normally seventy five. It's thirty seven fifty. Okay. So it's it's very affordable. You you've got a chance to be involved in some great events. And this is just the first month and a couple of weeks into the year right that um you can already take advantage of as being a member um and and you know it's going to be a very good investment for your business i agree i agree and if you if you notice people uh, that if you're listening um look for that sticker on business windows and if you know like like I say well i'll link it below so you can see their logo um but you'll start to notice it in businesses as you go in yeah uh, i know our gyms got it up both gyms uh, over here in Diaboville have that logo in mm -hmm. their front door. So mm -hmm. there, there's a, it's a little, it's, there's a lot of businesses that are involved with the chamber. It really shows that you care. Right. Um, you want to support an organization that supports you. Um, we try our best to uh, like and share as many posts on Facebook of our mm -hmm. fellow members um, and do the same for us. If you see something on our Facebook page, like it, share it. We all know how the algorithms and social That's media right. changes. That's right. But if you keep that 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 name on the forefront, then people will recognize it, and it will only benefit all of us. I agree. So it's a it's a great thing. What's the uh, mid year event? Um, the one like where I where I met the chamber at that was at the that uh, was actually at our membership meeting. Right. When is that? And one? we'll have that in May. Okay. Um, plans are still kind of in the works for that. I'm looking forward to that. One. Yeah, because we'll start our new year in July. So May, we try to do the membership meeting. June, we'll have our, our new board in place. So they'll have a board retreat so they can get familiar what their role is on the board and as committee uh, vice presidents and uh, plan out the next year. Okay. So we'll um, we're working on all that right now. I'm trying to trying to get through state of the city. Yeah, you got you got a lot on your plate here for the first two months. And then the, the year, parade. Right? Yeah. So yeah, we we'll, we stay really busy. Um, I'm very fortunate to have uh, Donna Kane in the office with me. She, she said she would come in and sit on one of these with us. She needs to. She, she said she would. She she's not real public with pictures and, and being the face of the chamber. I know. She and then you she get makes around me her do it. She, she's a life of the party. She's she so is. nice. She's she so is. And, and and as much as I love the chamber, um, I, I mentioned when we first started that I just hit 13 years. Congratulations. My yes. 13th year with the chamber. So yeah. I must be doing something right. And you must I, be enjoying it. And I enjoy it, too. Yeah. So um, I had posted on, on Facebook that, you know, if you have a job, it's just a job. But when it becomes your life and you have, you know, you enjoy it. That's right. So that's that's 
I am the chamber, I guess. <laughs> you think you represent it. Yep. <laughs> I am Biloxi. I am the chamber and I'm the whole Gulf Coast. So. Well, look, thanks for coming in here, stopping by today and telling us about everything y'all got going on. Everybody that's listening, that's the Biloxi Bay Area Chamber of Commerce. Be sure to check them out. They're on social media. They have a website. Um, check it out. See what you think. Come to an event. Test it out. Uh, I don't think you'll be disappointed. It's always a good time. And uh, until you come back again. Yes. All right. Yes. Well, thank y'all for listening. You'll have a great day.